Welcome to day six of the 30 day challenge where we're learning to journal and we're learning to do it together. Now, for those of you who may be joining us today for the first time, uh, we are taking the challenge to, for 30 days consecutive, uh, consecutively, uh, we're going to be uh, journaling. Now, for those of you who don't have a journal, that's okay. You can go to the website, freshlivingstreet.com. It's on the screen. You're going to go to the uh, resource media page and there are ebooks and then there is a journal that you can download as a PDF. Once downloaded, you can print it out or have it on one of your uh, tablets or computers. And if you have a blank journal, you can just write the questions down yourself. This is just to guide you uh, into starting something new. And this is exploration of yourself. Um, so today, as I said, it's day six and uh, we're going to uh, answer or write down uh, the answers to some of the thoughts that are on pay, that are on day six. Now, if you have not uh, been going with us, you can go to the YouTube and you can start with page one. This is a living journal, so wherever you want to start, uh, you can go to YouTube and we have day one and you can sit down with me, get your cup of coffee or your wine or your Coca-Cola and this is where you just take time for yourself. Now, some questions, you may not have the answer uh, right away. You may have to think about it for a day and you can come back in the evening uh, during your downtime and answer the question because you've had the day to think about it because we want you to go deep and we want you to really start uh, not being afraid to ask yourself certain questions and to have the answers. Now for today, from the past, I was most happy when now, each one of us have to go back into our past and really think about it. Now, today, for some of us, may not be the happiest time in our life, but you can go back in your past and say, you know, I was most happy. Some of us, it can be a Christmas memory. Some of us, it can be uh, memories with friends or time being alone or listening to music. Go back and, re and remember when you were most happy and describe the situation, describe the environment, and how did you feel? Um, for my present, what do I sacrifice to make it through the day? My mind goes back to my mom, um, whom I learned some of my behaviors from that weren't the best for me. My mother was a caregiver and she was the kind of mother, uh, she had seven children and my dad and she would cook and we could really eat. And sometimes we would eat more than we should. She just wanted us to be full and we would not really leave that much, but my mother would take what was left, put it on a plate, and it was not much and she would eat it. After preparing and she's a housewife and doing all this, she would sacrifice just for us, you know, and she lived most of her life that way where she would just sacrifice and she would sacrifice herself and sometimes not really have the things that she wanted. What things do you find yourself sacrificing and say, oh, I'm giving away too much? Or why do I keep giving more than I'm receiving? Write those things down, think about them, because that's important, because what we do today is preparation for our future. Now for my future, if I give, could give one thing to one person, it would be, and who would it be? If you could give one thing, it doesn't matter whether it was a gift of a million dollars or uh, a, a special gift or time, who would that person be? And what would it be that you would give this person that would make their life special? Remember, we're here to learn to, to learn and to understand and be well. And I'll see you tomorrow for day seven. Be well.